All right, and welcome. Today we are going to take a little trip both to Egypt and then back to the Great Salt Lake and look at the similarities that are clearly from an ancient civilization. So let's get started. Here we go to not far from Giza and Cairo. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit actually so you can get a feel of where we are. And there's Cairo, and of course uh, the pyramids are just right there. But that is something that everybody's looking at. This, on the other hand, is really interesting. What we see in what seems to be a swampland When you zoom in, it's very fascinating. And I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Was this old farms or old neighborhoods? Definitely an old civilization. I do not think that these are natural formations by any means. Um, is so interesting. I mean, what kind of sense can we even make of this? And maybe you've seen things like this. I know I have, and I never thought anything of it. I thought that they were natural, at least when I saw them from the road. But here, this is a very extreme version. I mean, you know, originally... I've seen things like this in uh, along the Great Salt Lake and just thought they were waste ponds or some kind of waste. But this, this is just another level. So here you can see civilization, you know, right on the edge. And again, maybe if I lived here, you know, I would just assume that this was uh, some industrial waste. But when you look at the scale, and really, when you look at this, I, I mean, this is like a flood land. I, I'm not even sure what this would look like from the, the ground. And this video is just going to be a quick glimpse, you know, but I really will do more research and and try to get some pictures of what this might look like from a little closer. But let's jump to another little area. And again, the, the scale of this. And Again, we should note that this is, you know, I'm not going to use the ruler right now, but I would say this is, you know, several miles out of town. And yet I think that you can drive on these. And so this little area... I'm calling an ancient port, but you can see this sandbar right here, and again, we're, you know, we're out of this town of Port Said. I mean, it really gets remote here. There's, you know, it seems like civilization ends around here, and yet we have this amazing sandbar, and they call this a lake. I mean, this is not a lake. This is a little port. Here you can see a port entry. Here. And I don't know. I, I don't know if you've ever heard of, you know, things connected to the ocean in that way that they call lakes, but to me that's not a lake. So... Let's look a little bit closer here. 
And this kind of reminds me of what we see in the Nevada area. You know, we can see that clearly these have become neighborhoods, but these houses are, you know, pretty much uh, as basic as a house could be. These are pretty small houses. But yet, the layout is very, very uniform, you know, for clearly a people that don't have very much money. And really, you know, nobody's laying out this town. But yet you can see it's laid on top of an older grid here as well. We see the older grid. And so, yeah, I mean, this is the practice that we see all over the world is that we, in our short history, have just built on top of these much older, whatever we're going to call them, I really don't know. And now, you know, when we look at these kind of floodplains, but there's no, there's no randomness to this. This is completely... This has a purpose, an ancient purpose. And there's no way that man, you know, would even isolate little... Maybe you do a little fish farm, but on this scale? I mean, this, when you look at it from above, you, you really think that it's, it's city. And now some of it could be farms, but that I'm uncertain about. Now let's have a look a little closer here. And this is why I don't think that it's farms. First of all, we see the glare of the water. This to me is water glare. I don't think these are farms, especially when you zoom out. This is like a floodplain. You have canals running through here. Here's a canal and then all this floods. I mean, this I believe that this whole thing is some kind of ancient technology. I we can't even conceive we cannot even conceive. But yeah, I mean, you can see it from even this high up. And then when you zoom in, this is not random. This is not something that nature doesn't compose, you know, squares in this fashion. So now I wanted to answer some questions from one of my other videos about what I was calling airports. And I want to address, you know, a lot of military installations in the U.S. have been built on top of these, I believe, more ancient things. Now, now they'll typically have this kind of an A pattern or a 4 pattern. And here you can see again all of these, all of this ancient tech, I really can't even conceive. Even this canal, this canal is so old, and yet, what engineering, I mean, what a, what an amazing piece of engineering, as old as this canal is, where it pretty much pretty much is perfect. And you can see on both sides, it's not just like the canal, you know, ran this way. These are, again, ancient lines. And whether they've flooded in. But, of course, they'll tell us that they've been built. And there's a nice story behind them. But now I want to go to what I've called the ancient epicenter. Now this touches on a lot of different things. If this was in the US, 
I believe that this would have been turned into a military installation. Again, I, these are ancient roads. And even these farms, I'll show you later on in the video that these farms, these circular types of farming, is actually ancient as well. Here you can see another, you see this little shape of this city, now you see another little shape down here as well that has not been uh, maintained and, and it's very decomposed, but nevertheless you see that pentagram shape underneath there. And now I'm going to show you another airport. Now these airports are all over the world. They have this A shape or sometimes kind of a four shape, but I do believe that they're much older. And the way you can tell that they're much older is because yes there'll be runways that's fine but then you know always in this A shape and then other runways next to them and maybe they'll pave the one next to it too even if they don't need it even in the middle of Egypt here I mean they really don't need this grand scale of an airport you know one runway would be adequate another one maybe here and then another one. I mean, it just goes on and on. And because they were not originally airports, these lines were already here. And now what I did is I took the Google measuring tool and I measured, and this is two miles long. And, you know, imagine what two miles is. I'm sure two miles. And again, this is, uh, this is very remote. I mean, there's not really, we have this grid all around, what appears to be farming, but that's a really big airport. That really, really is. I don't know. Again, I mean, it's not a major area. It's, uh, it really doesn't need to be. But... In any case, let's jump to another, what I'm going to call, a future airport. Now, this is one that has not been paved, and this one is in Nevada. Or, I'm sorry, this one is in Utah. So, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this road here... We'll talk about that road in a minute, but here, here is what an ancient airport looks like. Now, anybody could come in here and pave it, and the military, they've, they've made so many. Sure, they couldn't allocate another how many hundreds of millions to build another. But yeah, this is a perfect airport right here. This is a perfect example of the lines that I'm talking about. And these lines don't seem to have been altered too much. Here we have what looks like a little... I don't know. It seems like along these lines there's this energy field. And what we end up seeing is... Uh, what we end up seeing is water accumulating. And so a lot of these old, old lines will have water that accumulates along these lines and they and it creates natural springs I'm sorry I'm just having a little issue here but yes now I want to take you just right here next to this area you know, next to this what could easily become an airport and and just be wiped off the earth nobody would ever know that these old lines are old and we're here in the middle of nowhere in fact they did put a little helipad here heliport maybe that was just to throw us off a little bit but in any case i'm going to take you now to this fascinating road now i believe this is a railway now 
it really does appear as if it's a railway. But it also appears to be on a much older and ancient road. Now see, it crosses into the water here. And this road is 18 miles across a chunk of the Great Salt Lake. Now that's absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, they're you know, forgive me for not researching. And I know the railway did come through here. The railway came from the east and from the west and met, I believe, in Ogden, right here. So this very well could be that railway. And they may have just cut through and for some reason Google doesn't want us to get a clear image here. But here's what throws this whole thing off is all the other ancient roads around here. You see here's one that just shoots off into the water and then there's of course this one that we're looking at. 18 miles. I mean apparently a hundred years ago or so is when this railway came through and yet you know why wouldn't you go around I mean you would build 18 miles through water and I suppose you know I suppose that could very well be a possibility but I think what throws this whole thing off is when we look at the railway comes this way and it goes south south of the island and continues along but now this this canal right here and even this one it's as if these are older canals not far from here it gets really mysterious because again how I was talking about oh you know maybe I thought that certain things were just waste you know it'd be so wrong to be dumping waste all over the place I mean like some green and discolored waste and like everything was just a bunch of waste facilities but you know that's what I thought I really did but now I really believe that this is something much older. Much, much older that we're looking at. I mean, absolutely amazing. This is old tech. And it's just laying around. All around. And we, this is, this is the Salt Lake Lake. And yet, look at this. Look at what's going on. Again, I used to live in Salt Lake City. And I took all this for granted. I mean, when I flew flew out in a plane, I just thought, oh, that's weird. You know, toxic, uh, toxic, uh, you know, ponds or industrial. But no, this is something else. I mean, first of all, you have to go out in the water and create all these. This is all flood water, if anyone's you know, been out there. So, again, I want to show a mysterious road. And these are everywhere out there, just everywhere, roads. And sometimes they're, they are roads. I mean, it's as if somebody made roads, but then they're, they'll turn into canals and here's a good example here's you can see the ancient road and an ancient canal that runs right along it just a beautiful just really straight and then this road ends but yet it turns into a canal and then back into a road and again a road let's zoom out a little bit a road, but then there's water that runs because this is flood water. I mean, this is this is really swampy out here. But yeah, this road just goes in a disrepair, and water runs through it. 
and yet this is very, very old, and there's no reason, there's no history of any building out in the swamps. Now follow this road, and what do we have? What I was telling you, some sort of little spring. You know, these usually end with water, or water will, will be in between them. So a lot of mysteries are along the, the Salt Lake area. Now let's look at another ancient airport just along the north shore of the Salt Lake this, um, Lake. And here again, you know, we might think, uh, okay, this is a uh, Fort Ranch Airport, they tell us. Great. Great. We needed an airport out here. There's nothing out here. There's airports everywhere. These are major cities along the Wasatch Front. But we needed an airport right here where nobody goes. But here is my proof. And I really do feel like this is a proof. This is not modern. This was not put here by a modern people is that first of all this thing is in dis disrepair and of course it is because it was never really meant to be an airport now I want you to focus not on the runway but on the perimeter the perimeter now the vegetation is completely different whatever made this had some kind of an energy field, some kind of future technology that's cutting these lines all over the world, and it leaves an energy field. And if anything, from this picture, it makes things better. It seems that the vegetation is growing uh, much better within this, within this. And again, I mean, this, if, if, if somebody was to survey this, I mean, it's just, you know, I surveyed a piece of land before, and it's a big job. I mean, just to survey something out here. But forget about the surveying. That could be done. What cannot be done is the changing of the vegetation. And that is the effect of something else. And it'd be really interesting to explore this area. But let's move on. And here I'm calling this the ancient grid. And we see these all over the world. And again, the ancient line that runs through and a complete change in the vegetation. The grid is not over here on this side of the line. The grid is on this side of the line. And again, this is the middle of nowhere. No need or building such straight and perfect roads. In fact, you can see this is a good lesson on roads. You see, here's a man's road. And here's a man's road. You see, they're, they're imperfect. They, they go where they need to. They follow the easiest path. Here, these might be cow roads. These might be cow paths leading to this spring right here. You see, the cow travels in a you know, very zigzaggy fashion. But what we're seeing here is this is not natural. And then here, this line, this line is one of the older roads. And these lines, and, and I find that it's inappropriate for me to even call them roads before I even can conceive of what they really are. Now this is a little area that I had a lot of questions about. Again, we see intersecting roads all over. A lot of mysteries here. It would be interesting to see what what they say about these formations. But actually, we're not going to get into this one too much. Let's jump over to this. And this is what I'm calling an ancient railway. Now, we just did look at some railways, one going across 
a chunk of the Salt Lake waterway. But here we see Ancient Road, and for the first time we see intersecting pieces, at least for the first time for me, intersecting pieces that to me remind me of a, of a kind of a track. So here we go. Let's, let me zoom out a little. And here we follow this track. And, and that's the only thing I could, I could conceive of. It. And what a giant, giant track. I mean, what kind of... And again, probably everything is gone. All we're seeing is an imprint. I really don't know without having my feet on the ground here. But it is massive. Again, I mean the width, and these are old, you know, when we see the two, and how interesting that they call this Locomotive Springs Road, but yet, you know, this is the Locomotive Springs Road, they're saying, here, you know, there's no tracks here. And even look at the size of this compared to the Locomotive Springs Road. The width compared to the new modern road, that gives you an idea of the monstrosity of this ancient something. But even the Locomotive Springs Road, you see it's true and straight as an arrow. And then things, it takes a little detour here and turns into a triangle, which, you know, I believe the airports are those triangles. And that ancient railway just goes on and on until we reach this area. And then it takes a little jog south. And again, the complete discoloration. You can go far as far back as you can on the images and complete discoloration or devegetation, I should say. I mean, what an amazing thing. What an amazing thing to be able to... We can't do that. We can't. We might spray some uh, Roundup or, or, uh, Agent, or Agent Orange, which I think uh, was the original formula of Roundup. But in any case, we'll never achieve that kind of an herbicide in straight lines in that same fashion and for years and years and years and years. So, oops, sorry. Let's go to... An Ancient Road to Nowhere is what I've called this one. This again, we're, we're really on the Nevada-Utah border here. And this is just an example of an ancient road. You can see the ancient road underneath it. And again, why, why on earth would a modern man take this path? Oh, here we are. I'm sorry. We're right by the Salt Lake still. We're right on the shore of the Salt Lake here in the I-80, major I-80. Many of us have, many of you have driven through here, I'm sure, Salt Lake to Wendover, to the border of Nevada and Utah. And here again, industrial waste ponds, what I always thought were industrial waste ponds, you know, and you just drive on. It seems boring from the driver's perspective. You just move on, but yet you know, if we look carefully, we have these roads and these canals out here, and, and what we thought was nothing is, again, uh, really something special. Now this, if it was on land, would be, again, a perfect candidate for an airport. And here, if we jump over a little bit, we can see some intersecting lines. And now I want to sh show you guys before the farm is what I'm calling this, you know. Now I've talked about a lot of these circular farms. Here's one, for example. Here's one. And these are everywhere. I'm sure you've seen them. And, and I believe that these are ancient. Now the farm is modern. Somebody is growing. And I know they make equipment that can water a field like this. And it's... You know, it's very great. But I do believe that these are older. And I've seen lots of them all over the world, in fact. 
but for this I'm going to show a little example right here in the middle of the desert and this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about here it is nothing out here imperfect little trails around then we do see a perfect line here a perfect uh, angle again an ancient road up here but yeah this is what I'm talking about and then you know if some guy bought this land he'd say okay I'm gonna put a wheel here and uh, here we go we're gonna water it you know it's most of the work's been done already it's tilled out nicely It'd be interesting I'd like to talk to farmers and see if you know how well it grows in these circular things and um, be an interesting study you see ancient lines all through here up here is one it's an old grid the old grid runs through and there's a lot of anomalous stuff going on here I mean you can see here I have not seen this before this is not something I was going to show in the video, but yeah, this is really anomalous and amazing, actually. So now I'm going to take you to a place in Utah called Dugway. Now, I didn't even know there was a place called... I knew there was a place called Dugway Proving Grounds where the military, you know, supposedly, you know, does experiments and bombs and whatever. But then, you know, I ran across this town here, just not far from this area we were just looking at. And excuse what I named it, but, you know, again, this is the middle of nowhere, and I've never heard of a town called Dugway. And now you can see, you know, an ancient line runs through here. I really should take roads off when I do this. Let me take that off, okay? So yeah, now that makes a little a little more sense to where we are here. This is not a major road. I don't even know. I don't even know. But this is an ancient road that runs along here, intersects again. So here we have the perfect candidate for an airport. And here, you know, this is not far from the Dugway Proving Grounds. And so, yeah, they've, they, say, they say that this is a town, and here we even have a church. And I'm sure, you know, people do go to that church, but this is a really strange town. I mean, like, everybody has the same colored roof. Like, that doesn't happen anywhere in, I don't know, that's really creepy, actually. The creepy pattern of this town. I mean, to me, this is ancient. This is the ancient grid, and somebody availed themselves. And here again, the track that I, I showed, the raised tracks, like we have these all over the world. Um, those are old, and we usually just fill them in, just like we do the round farms and the airports. But yeah, this is a pretty creepy little town, and I might have to go out here and check it out. I've, it seems military to me. And I believe that it is military, because look at this. So they pose as a normal town, you know. Doesn't look, even though it does look weird. But then if you look here, yeah, this is definitely a military town. Tanks, all of that's military. So yeah, they've, uh, if they don't build a base over the ancient sites, you know, maybe they have too many bases, then they build a, a town like this, you know, a clearly fake town. Uh, it's a real town, but it's not a real town, if, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, let's uh, actually move on, even though there's actually a lot to explore around here, and I believe that that's why they put this here, you know, it's just to pull the eye away, especially from that pattern. You know, out here again we have, you know, an airport. I mean, like, there are so many. You would never need this many airports. But again, you see the older pattern underneath it. You know. Let us...
here is something that I was calling an ancient grid, just like what we looked at in Egypt earlier. But this is here in the middle of nowhere. And I think it's really amazing. Now, if I would have seen this years ago, I would have said, oh, that's for, you know, I would have had the explanation that they, you know, they would give us. Oh, this is for the military. It's a target, you know. But I don't think so, actually. Not this many roads in the middle of nowhere. I mean, why? And again, that vegetation doesn't grow. I mean, you, you just couldn't maintain something like that. And here it actually does appear as if uh, there are pock marks, like maybe, but not really very big, not like the craters we saw in Nevada in the other video. So not far from here, we're going to look at an ancient road. And that's a big road. I, I really should measure the distance here. But what interested me about this one, again, that it's the middle of nowhere. But it was these intersecting pieces here. I mean, completely completely unnecessary as far as I can tell from you know out here let's get an idea of where we are so yeah out in the great Salt Lake Desert the edge of it this is really the middle of nowhere and these clamps are really fascinating here's uh, another one this one has more of a round nature to it and and again what we can see is if this even is a, a road I don't even know it might be I mean a modern road is what I'm saying or railway or something but again how do you know that it's ancient is because there's another one or several more on either side like you just wouldn't need to clear the vegetation and to make more lines, more roads on either side. And those clamps are really anomalous. I don't know what to make of them. So I'll leave it at that. Now This is a place, another place that I called before the farm. That's all I can really say about them. I mean, when we find these places in the middle of nowhere, oh, here, I hadn't noticed that before. Here's a, an old airport. Let's have a look at that in a minute. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is a perfect example of what would turn into a farm if there were people in the vicinity, but there aren't. So it remains preserved, and I'm so glad, actually, that this has remained preserved for us to for us to appreciate. And yeah, these old lines that run next to it and uh, go off in different directions. Some kind of old tech, which is what I really think a lot of it is, is just old tech old technology and we just can't even conceive I mean on a giant scale as if uh, maybe the earth was some kind of a machine but yeah this is really fascinating actually uh, this is just an ancient road I can tell right away by the change in the vegetation it's completely changed the vegetation and this is again the middle of nowhere there's no need at first, I, I, this would have been an airport if there was, if they could have even have justified it, they would have turned all this into a military or airport, 
but maybe they figured nobody would zoom in this close to this area. Who would waste their time? So, so that's it for this presentation. I hope, uh, I hope I shed some light, and I hope I, I made you speculate a little more on some, uh, some more questions. Let me know if you have any, and if you have any info to share, I always appreciate it. So have a blessed day.